How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So the Green Bay Packers first injury report of the 2023 season just came out ahead of their week one matchup in Chicago versus the Bears. So in this video, quickly wanted to go over their first injury report, give my thoughts on it, as well as take a look at the Bears injury report too. If you do happen to be a new viewer on this channel, I post Packers content almost every single day, news analysis, updates, live streams during the games, and of course, every time there's an injury report, you'll find it here right on this channel. So if any of that interests you and you are a new viewer, I'd highly appreciate it if you went down and clicked the subscribe button, as well as left a like on the video. Thank you for all the endless support. You guys are the best. I can't wait to get into the season already. All right, so without further ado, let's bring up the injury report. This is the initial injury report. We'll have a report tomorrow and then also the one on Friday with the designations. So at the top, we see David Bakhtiari. He will probably be on the injury report every single week for this entire season. We see his injury is veteran rest slash knee, did not participate. You know, it's gonna be likely that Bakhtiari only practices one to two days a week, probably switching every other, one week doing two days, one week doing one day, and on, off schedule. That's how they've been doing it pretty much all of last season into this season, and it seems to be working. Um, I'm hoping David Bakhtiari can have a full season, a full, you know, 17 game season at left tackle there, because when he is healthy, you know, he has one of the best left tackles in the NFL, but that's when he is healthy, and that's a big if. So we'll see if he ends up practicing tomorrow and Friday, or just one of the two days. Next one on this list is a big one. Wide receiver Romeo Dobbs is a did not participate with a hamstring injury. He suffered that injury, I think, uh, a little over a week ago, hasn't practiced since, and hamstring injuries for wide receivers or just in general just tend to linger around so you can't really rush them back and if they're not 100 it's definitely an injury that could pop back up and he's not the only one on this list with hamstring injuries there's actually three wide receivers with hamstring injuries which is crazy right about now um considering going into week one we already have three out of the top four wide receivers with hamstring injuries. So Dobbs was a did not participate. We'll see if he ends up practicing at all this week. If he doesn't, he likely is not going to play in week one. Rashawn Gary with his knee injury coming back from that ACL is limited um, in today's practice. I have high hopes of Rashawn Gary playing in this football game. Uh, he's been practicing the last three weeks now. First just did individuals and then recently did team portions of practice and he's looked great. It looks like he hasn't lost a step at all and I do have high hopes for him playing in this game. Now now, will he get the normal 65% of snaps that starting edges get for the Green Bay Packers? Probably not. I could see them kind of running Rashawn Gary on a pitch count, maybe for passing downs, or a signified pass rusher, which is what he is, but maybe only on second and long and third downs where we know the Bears are going to be passing the football, putting Rashawn Gary out there to say, hey, go and get Justin Fields. And the Bears offensive line is pretty poor, in my opinion. The right side, uh, rookie Darnell Wright, which I do believe in, but again, he's a rookie. Nate Davis at that right guard spot. Tevin Jenkins on the IR. It's definitely a, a pretty poor offensive line. So if he can even get like 40 to 50% snaps from Rashawn Gary, I think he should be able to wreak havoc on that line. Then we see Anthony Johnson Jr. on the injury report here with a knee injury. He was a full participant. He is right behind Rudy Ford on that safety depth chart in the second string. I have high hopes for Anthony Johnson Jr. in this defense. I don't think he'll get a ton of snaps early on in the season but I think midway through the season we might start seeing more of Anthony Johnson Jr. as like that run support box type of safety when I watched his tape at Iowa State that's exactly what he was really good at so I think he could be that type of safety uh, for the future in the Packers defense then the last two players on this list as I mentioned before two other wide receivers with hamstring injuries both Christian Watson and Tay Wicks Christian Watson was a new addition today we saw earlier today during practice he wasn't practicing and we had to wait until this report to see exactly what that injury was I was hoping it wasn't a hamstring because we already have Dobbs and Wicks out with a hamstring and like I said they can linger so he was a did not participate in today's practice and this will be big if the Packers don't have Watson and Dobbs for week one especially considering it's the first start for Jordan Love as quarterback one he's gonna have to build this connection with these wide receivers in a real game so if both of these guys can't go in this game it's gonna be big trouble for this Packers offense considering that wide receiver room is already extremely young and they are two of the oldest guys guys in that wide receiver room. Samori Torrey actually being the oldest one, which he's healthy. So I'm sure if both of these guys or all three of these guys are hurt, Samori Torrey is going to be seeing a lot of snaps along with Malik Keith and Jaden Reed. Tay Wicks was limited with the hamstring injury. So it looks a little bit more likely that Tay Wicks will be ready to go this Sunday against the Bears. He's kind of had an injury plagued preseason so far for his rookie season. But when he is on the field, he has looked really good. So I'm hoping they'll at least have him if Dobbs and Watson can't suit up. But outside of that, it looks like Malik Heath might actually get a start as an undrafted free agent 
I don't know the last time that happened. Guys, let me know down in the comments below the last time the Packers, an undrafted free agent, made the roster and started week one. I know Chris Barnes got thrown in week one, but I don't know if he necessarily started week one. I kind of forget if that was the case, but I don't know the last time it happened. So if Malik Heath gets a start week one, I mean, it makes sense if they have all these injuries to throw him there. He's an outside wide receiver. He's been getting snaps with the ones. He looked really good in the preseason. He's kind of been building the connection with Jordan Love as well. So if Watson and Dobbs can't go, we're likely going to see Heath and Wicks on the outside, Jane Reed in the slot, and Torrey moving around as well. Then quickly looking at the Bears injury report, Jaquan Juan Brisker at the top with a groin injury. He is limited. Linebacker Dylan Cole with a hamstring is a did not participate. Eddie Jackson with an ankle injury is limited. And Demarcus Walker, defensive lineman, has a calf injury and is also limited. So that is the first 2023 injury report for the Green Bay Packers. Like I said, not looking good for this wide receiver room. Just going into week one. Such a young, you know, raw wide receiver room. We need Romeo Dobbs and Christian Watson out there uh, for Jordan Love to be able to throw the ball to. But we'll see how these hamstring injuries move along through the rest of the week. It is still early. There's still Thursday. There's still Friday. We'll get a lot better of a picture come Friday. Also, guys, since it is the start of September, there is a new giveaway going on this channel. Thank you to Pristine Auction. And that is this full-size signed Aaron Jones Packers helmet. Super excited to give this one away. I think I gave away a Aaron Jones signed helmet um, last year as well. Love giving away signed Aaron Jones stuff. Definitely the definition of a Packer. So the way you enter in this giveaway is you head to pristineauction.com register on their website using my registration code BASS B -A -S, and that'll enter you in this giveaway and all future giveaways and I'm doing two giveaways a month throughout the rest of this year so I'm going to be giving away a ton of cool items on this channel so definitely stay tuned and make sure to enter in the giveaway check out pristine auction they have so many cool items on their website a lot of packer stuff everything behind me is signed from pristine auction and they're all authenticated they're real signatures they're really cool items like i said go check it out but that about does it for this video i appreciate you guys watching if you did enjoy it please leave a like down below like i said more injury report news tomorrow and primarily friday when those designations come out so be on the lookout for those videos i will also be live streaming during the game on sunday starting at 4 p.m eastern standard time so if you want to come watch the game with me live reaction play by play come hang out this sunday but that about does it for this video i'll catch you on the next one and as always go pack go